Hello, welcome to another video. So we're going to do another roulette strategy simulation today, but we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do the recovery method first. So we'll jump straight in. Welcome to the table. Place your bets, please. Welcome to the table. We're going to switch our bets down to five. So we're going to be the strategy we're going to be using. Uh, it's going to be the Voisins and Tiers because that's my favourite one, and it's got a really good win rate. We're going to be using one dollar one unit but what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just go into recovery first because sometimes you'll play roulette and you'll have a good strategy and you'll get loads of wins and it's all going well and then all of a sudden you get a few bad results and you have to go into recovery and double up and that kind of thing and you can wipe out your profit and your bankroll in minutes and it can be a bit disheartening so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can make our recovery first and then when we're playing the simulation, then we can just relax then and play the simulation. And if we lose, it doesn't matter because we know we've already recovered it, if we can recover it. So, nice and simple, black or red, straight up Martingale recovery, 15 units as one bet, because we're when we play our strategy, the Vossins and Tiers, that's what we're going to be risking. It'll be 15 units or $15. So, off we go, 15. We're going to play black because black's just come out. No more bets. And we've had a red, so we've had a loss straight away. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> so we're going to switch. We're going to switch, so we're going to switch to red. Because we're just basically going to bet on doubles for black and red for this recovery method. No more bets. Another black. So it's switched on us again. So we'll switch two. So 60 units bet because we lost 30 on the last one. No more bets. Another red, it's flipped on us again. Alright, so we'll switch to. We're gonna go. Uh, what was around 30, 60, 120. There we go. So we'll no spin more that. <clears throat> and we finally got a red. Winning red anyway, so. What we've done there is we've done our first recovery. So we've got 15 units in the bank now. So if we're playing, we could just play the strategy now. And while we're playing, if we lose, we don't have to go into recovery because it's already done. But we're going to play again. And we're just going to see if we can get get a few more in the bank. We'll try three. We'll try and do three. So then no if, more bets. if we've recovered three times, we can play the strategy. And we can... Uh, we can play it without worrying about recovering the losses because we've kind of already done it. So there's another one. Just claim my bonus there. So there's another win. We're up 30 units. Or that affords us two losses when we play our strategy. So we're going to do another one. We're going to rebet on black. No more bets. And zero's come in. So that's a shame because we're covering zero in our strategy in a minute. So we're going to rebet and double up. No more bets. That did it did that to me in the last video. Uh, I don't know if you watched it. If you haven't, check it out. It was interesting because I was playing the Romanovsky method, but I was co covering zero. And then, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. You'll have to go and check it out. You won't believe when the zero come out. Very entertaining. Anyway, so we've had another win there. 45 units up or enough for three losses so now it means we can jump into the Vassins and Tiers strategy we can play it for fun if we lose doesn't matter because we've already had three recovery wins there so we can just relax and enjoy the game all right so let me know in the comments what you think of that you know flipping on it flipping it on its head and doing the recovery first and uh let me know what you think of the Vassins and Tiers strategy as well i'm interested to know if other people are trying it it's definitely by like my favorite one at least it is at the moment sometimes i'll you know i'll play it for a while and i'll get bored of it and i might switch to a romanovsky method or something like that or some of the others that i've got i've got a few tricks up my sleeve which i'll share in future videos so make sure you've got that Subscribe button and notification thing sorted out. No more bets. Alright, so we're up and running. We're playing the Vlasins. We've got 15 units risk. We've got a 10 minute timer going. So we're not playing forever. And would you believe it, we've lost on the first spin. But we don't have to go into recovery because we've already had three recovery wins. So now we can just carry on playing and we've still got two more losses as our safety net. 
So we're going to re-bet. No more bets. Black number six. That's another loss. Now this is unusual. I don't. You don't often see double losses on this uh, Voisins and Tiers one. So no we'll more spin bets. again. But like I said, we're still in a profit because we have done the recovery three times. 35 black. I think that's a win this time. Brilliant. So we're up and running with a win now. And we're just going to keep re-betting. No more bets. <clears throat> until we either have three losses. We'll see where we're up to with that. Or we can we might be able to carry on playing if we've covered another loss through our profits on this. Um, or, you know, we'll play till the timer goes off because we don't want to be here all day. So that was a win. Rebet and spin. No more bets. Nice easy strategy this one. You place your bets and you just keep rebetting it each time it wins. Which is, we've had our three losses already there actually, but we're still up six in this session. So if you wanted to call it a day there, you could do, and you'd still be going away with six units. You've had your three recoveries, or you know, for the sake of this simulation, we're just going to carry on playing anyway. No more bets. See what this strategy can do. 21 red. That's another win. So, another win, another spin. No more bets. 29 black. So, because that's a win, re -bet and spin. No more bets. You can see there now as well that we're $12 up in this session. We have lost our recoveries already. They went pretty rapidly, to be fair, in this one. Um, but we are slowly building it back up. So you can see there that we've got 15 units winning in this session. So if we do have another loss, it still doesn't matter because we're still break even. No more bets. Number one, that is a loss as well. So we're down to break even now. But we're not going into recovery because we decided against that and we did it at the beginning. So if we get another loss now, we will actually go into a negative balance. No more bets. 15 black. There's a win. So we're going to re-bet and spin. No more bets. 15. Another win. No more bets. Black number eight. That's a win. So you can see that the risk to reward is a you know it's a little bit out of balance there. We're risking fifteen to get three, but with it having such a high win rate, um, just spin there no again. No more bets. Yeah, with it having such a high win rate, you can sort of build that profit back up, and then and that was a bigger win because that was the two and the zero that was covered. So. We're actually up 18 there now. So now even if we have a loss, we're still in a profit. Only a little profit. It's only a few dollars. But, you know, this strategy no is... No more bets. This, is, this isn't really concerned with winning. This is more concerned about not losing and not destroying your bankroll early on, really. Uh, and it's more about simulating whether or not we can manage those losses early on, right at the beginning. See if we can put a few in the bag ready for later uh, and it has served us well because we had a few losses early on no more bet used our losses uh, our recovery amounts sorry used that didn't have to go into recovery and now we've had a few wins as well and there's another win so we're actually up 24 dollars now in this session uh, even though we've had those few losses so just managing your risk like that it kind of affords you a bit more of an opportunity to play longer because sometimes you know, doing these ten-minute strategies is all right, but sometimes you do bet. you do need a bit longer because you need time to sort of recover, or you need time to endure losing streaks, or you know, you might want a bit of time to take a winning streak because the winning streaks do happen as well. Anyway, so we've had a loss there now, but as you can see, we're still nine up because we've managed those losses quite well, and we got a few recoveries in early, so. For simulation reasons, we're going to carry on. I'd probably call it a day there, actually, and I'd take that nine profit, nine units profit, and just leave it. But we've got four 
four and a bit minutes left on the timer, so might as well just carry on and see what happens. No more bets. Sixteen red, that's a win. So nice and easy. We win, we spin again. No more bets. Thirty four red. And that's another loss. So that's took us slightly down now into a negative balance, gone to minus three. Because we've used our recovery methods. We've not we're not we're not doing that again. We've took our risk on that. Um, like I say, I, I would have left it there. I would have took that pro uh, before it went into a loss. But for the sake of the simulation, we're going to carry on. No more bet. And see if it can pull itself out of a loss without actually going into a recovery method. That's a 29 black, which is a win. So it has broke even. After all this time, we're still only at break even. But that's the whole point. I mean, you know, not losing is a win. This is why I'm simulating this. It's... This is about managing the risk a little bit because sometimes no, no the losing streaks on the roulette wheel can be absolutely unbelievable. You find yourself thinking it's fixed or it's rigged or something like that. And there's another loss. So that's down 15 units now. So, and you know, we're not going to be going into recovery. So no more bets. this could end up being a losing strategy this time. It's black 20. That's another loss. So it does look like this uh, This will be a losing losing strategy this time. No more bets. Black number 10. That's a win. So we're going to re-bet. No more bets. Down $27. 16 red. That's another win. Be nice if we could... Uh, Maybe break even. No more bets. Like I say, it's not been about uh, getting huge gains this one. This one's been more about can we just minimise those losses a little bit and not have to go into recovery as many times. No more bets. Thirty-four red. That's another loss, right? We are down 36 units, so this is a huge loss in terms of what you're actually gaining. Um, like I say, and it, this is purely for simulation reasons. I wouldn't be carrying on if this was a real casino. I'd have stopped no it. Uh, I think the profit was nine, nine units profit. That's where I'd have stopped. It's red seven. That's another win. No more bets. Nine. Right, this clearly goes to show that I was completely wrong about the uh, the amount of recoveries that we'd need. I thought we'd need three at the beginning. I thought three would probably get us through a 10-minute strategy and we'd finish in a profit, but it's not because we've used our three and then we've had at least three lose uh, three losses there. Uh, so it's just completely wiped us right down to negative 48. So it does go to show that... Just spin this one again. No more bets. It does go to show that you need to use recoveries because even with these high win rate strategies, I think this has got about an 80% chance of winning. Um, you still get losses, you get losing streaks. No more bets. You need to have some kind of a, not only a safety net, but you need to have a recovery method. Another win there. So hopefully this is just about damage control now and no more bets. Bringing this back towards zero. 26 black that's a win brilliant so only half a minute left on the timer just no see, more if we can, see if we can get a few wins to bring that closer to zero less of a loss so that's another win no more bets Another win there, so I'll just carry on spinning. No more bets. It's a black number six, which I think's a win. No, it's a loss. Oh, a loss right on that last spin. And the time has just gone off as well. So, 
as you can see there we're down uh, on this session minus 48 dollars or minus 48 units because we was doing one unit one dollar um, and the it didn't really work because at the beginning we did our recovery method uh, three times we had three wins we got a positive balance of 45 units and then as we played through the strategy we could afford three losses uh, and still be in a profit but we had a major amount of losses that time round, uh, so we've actually finished at negative 48 because we didn't do any more recoveries we chose to do three we stuck at three that's all we did uh, we could have recovered during the strategy um, you know we could have recovered more at the beginning i predicted three i got it wrong i think we needed at least six because if we would have done six we'd have been at negative if if, if my arithmetic's right i think we'd be at negative three if we'd have done six recoveries um but you know that's the whole point of the simulation so thanks for watching i hope you've liked this one hope it's not been too boring for you and not seeing all these huge gains but Hopefully you took something away from it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one too. Bye for now.